All right, guys, here we are back with another home gym video. Coach Carp with Carp's Gym. Did a poll on Instagram recently, and you guys told me I need to unleash my Titan and give him another shot. So I was in need of some strongman equipment, and this was the cheapest thing out there. So we're going to unbox it here and see what we got. Let's check it out. I took a flyer on these bad boys, so. We're going to see what Titan has to offer. I needed something for some 18-inch deadlifts or block pulls. So far, they don't look too bad. You know, Titan, thanks for your order. Titan's got some packaging material here. Now, these things were hit or miss online. I saw mixed reviews on them. So I'm not sure what to expect. I don't really have high hopes, but they're packaged well. It's pretty, pretty darn heavy. It's pretty darn heavy. So we'll unbox it here. Let's see some packing materials here. Yeah, they're pretty heavy and solid. I mean, that's a that's a big old boy. And we might have to unleash this sticker here because, you know. We don't want to tighten all over our gear, but you know maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they they fixed all their stuff. It says attention parts inside, but that one didn't have parts inside, I guess. So let's check them both out here. Now what these are is pulling blocks or jacks to help you. Do block pulls. They seem to be pretty solid, pretty heavy steel. What I'm worried about is the pin here, this pin, and these spinning pins because I've seen and heard uh, online of people they break easy just trying to tighten them and turn them down. And these pins kept bending. They had like a little flimsy pin. So I saw pictures of the pins bent. This looks to be a little bit heavier duty pin. So we'll see how it stacks up, but. So, you know, you can adjust, and that should, the highest one should be, what would be, a, they're not the easiest to adjust either, but what that would be like an 18-inch deadlift. So, if you're doing straw man training, which we've been doing recently, and you got to do a max, max pull from 18 inches, you just put your barbell in there and then adjust. Well, also what I'm afraid of is when you're, when you're lifting with it, they, they tend to rotate. And the only other ones I saw out there, I think there are some Mike Bartos Power Center, maybe a couple other brands, but I think those are five, six hundred dollars plus. You get those new. I haven't seen any of those used anywhere. So we're gonna give these Titan ones a shot, and uh, they have stickers on there as usual. So we're gonna pull. Look at that; it just peels right off. I mean, why even put that on there? I don't know, but those are not gonna stay on mine. But we'll see if they work, see if they're any, well, get some uh, training with them. And then, you know, that's, that, well, I don't even know why they put that sticker on there. Like, I don't necessarily want them laser engraved or anything either, but that just scrapes right off. I mean, that's going to come off anyways. Might as well just take it off. But, tight and pulling blocks. Stay tuned. We'll get some video with them, and then maybe we'll add this to the Strongman series. Because this is technically a strongman uh, implement, so and we'll probably come back with some, you know, training footage, and after testing them, see how we feel about them. But as of right now, they seem pretty solid. But this seems to be the weakest point. They're pretty rickety right there. This pin and, and then this, this plastic piece right here. It's very cheapo plastic. That's probably just gonna break off over time. Now these Titan pulling box weigh 25 pounds for the pair. So with a 45 pound bar, your starting weight here is 70 pounds. So I'm warming up with 70 pounds. And that's one of the cool things about Juggernaut AI is you can go in and set the bar weight. So if you have a specialty bar, you're doing something weird like these block pulls, you can put the bar at 70 pounds and just go up from there. So then I added another plate here and we're just going to continue warming up. One thing to note about these pulling blocks is they will move and get side to side movement when I pull it off the ground you'll see 
it's important to try to get them as flat on the ground as possible when you're coming back down but sometimes they'll land on the back of the foot or the front of the foot and depending on where they land it'll kick them forward or backwards similar to those dodecahedron plates that you may have seen over the past the uh, the iron grip plates so if the back foot hits first it'll want to kick it forward and if the front foot hits first it'll want to kick it back in towards you so you want to try to be strategic when you put these down and try to get them as as settled as possible but you know there's going to be some movement no matter what you do and that's just something to be aware of like right here this one it'll kick right back into my shins watch this see it hit me in the shin so because i landed on that front foot so you just want to be careful and then try to do it as much as you can i'm getting to the max weights here this is 405 and you'll see it hits on that back and it wants to go forward so i'm having to adjust every time doing it which is kind of annoying because normally my deadlift setup i can just drop and go drop and go with these I've got to kind of adjust my feet, get my shins to the bar, and go. And then when I come back down, it kind of moves again. And you can't just roll it back like you can with a normal barbell with plates or like wagon wheels that gets out in front of you. You can just roll it back to your shins. But you can't really get in the right position every time. So you got something you got to be mindful of. So these are much better for like single reps, doubles. Once you start doing multiple reps here, like I'm doing sixes, it's kind of annoying because you can't get your same form and posture, your same setup. So that's just something to be aware of. And then here's how I have them set up. I have them set up with a collar on the inside. I'm not using that collar to push the plates out further. If I want to do that, I'll just use bumpers or something. I'm using those collars here to try to keep that block from moving side to side, giving an extra, a little extra grip there to keep it from sliding side to side or slide forward and backwards. And then I want to test these, see after you do them with multiple reps of 405, how do those pins hold up? And you can see there's a little bow and bend to it. It's not terrible like the ones I saw online. So the jury's out, how will these hold up over time? But they are also gonna ding up and bend some. And then those screw nuts will affect your bar. So if that's something you're aware of, you're worried about, they will dig into your bar, trying to tighten that on the bar. So if you care about your bars, you probably wanna use a old bar or beater bar. Thanks for watching and go lift.